What I need you to do, please, is I need you to read the question to the viewers. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. It says that 10 gram of magnesium ribbon. Okay, so we've got 10 grams of magnesium ribbon. Yes. Reacts with uh, a 0 0.15 mol per decimeter cubed of solution of hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we have 0 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid. All right. At a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. At a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Excellent. So I've just pretty much written down what we were given. What's the first question? It says that I've got to write down a balance equation for the reaction. Okay. Now, the reason why they do this is this is actually from grade 10. Do you oh. sort of remember doing metals and acids in grade 10? Yes. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So we take the magnesium. Oh, I'm going to learn to write first. Okay. The magnesium plus the hydrochloric acid. What do you think we're going to get? I think it'd be magnesium chloride. With what? With uh, hydrogen. Excellent. Well done. But now we've got to make sure we write the formula right. Okay. Okay. What's the formula for magnesium chloride? It's Mg mm -hmm. uh, plus HCl. No, no, just the magnesium chloride. Just what is Well, it's MgCl. Cl? Uh, yes. Just Cl? Yeah, I suppose. No, it's MgCl2. Now, let me tell you why I know that. Okay. What group is magnesium in on the periodic table? P uh, it's group 2. Group 2. Yes. So, so it has a valency of? Of 2. two. Chlorine's in group? 2. Is chlorine in group 2? Where's chlorine? On your periodic table. It's a halogen. Uh, I'm not sure. It's group seven. Okay. okay. Chlorine's group seven. If it's in group seven, what's its valency? It's one. It's one. Magnesium is two. Chlorine's only one. One. I need to make sure those are the same, so I must have two chlorines. Okay. Okay, so it's MgCl2. Okay. And what's what else am I going to be left with? Uh, hydrogen. And how do I write hydrogen? Just H. Just H? Uh, it's hydrogen gas. Oh, it's H2. H2, okay? okay. Now, now, you would write this all in one line. I ran out of space. So, right. Mg plus HCl, MgCl plus H2, is that balanced? Uh, yes. Are you sure? I've got one magnesium on both sides, so that's uh, fine. Uh -huh. One hydrogen, Okay, two uh, hydrogen. hydrogen is not balanced. One chlorine, two chlorines. Chlorine's also not balanced. Yes. So how can I make it balanced? Uh, we write it two in front of uh, HCl. There we go. Done. All right. Okay. First question done. You happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy. Excellent. Now the second question. What did they want you to do? Uh, they want me to state two ways of increasing oh, the rate of this reaction. Okay, before we got there, we can talk about, let's do about, the talk, let's talk about you plotting the graph. Okay. Oh, now, okay. I don't we just can't plot the graph because we're going to run out of time. Okay. Because what did they say? They said you had to plot a graph, all right? Yes. Of what? Of volume versus time. Volume? Versus time. Versus time. And it's for the production of the H2, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, and you said, you said to me earlier that they'd given you a whole bunch of values. Yes. Now, this is what they're wanting from you. Because remember, you asked to plot a graph. Mm -hmm. In your exam, if you ask to plot a graph, they're probably going to give you graph paper. Yes. Because it makes our marking easier. So you've got to use the graph paper properly. Okay. If they don't, then it's got to be an accurate graph. All right. Okay, because it says plot, not sketch. What I'm going to do is sketch. Okay. Okay. So, so you would have your two axes. Right. Where would volume go? On the Y or the X? On the Y. On the Y. So you would have volume and it's volume of H2. Okay. Uh -huh. What units did they give it to you in on your in your information? It's centimeter cubed. So I must write in there that it's centimeter cubed. Okay. Okay. I've got the label and I've got the units. And then time, what did they measure time in? In minutes. In minutes. Yes. Okay. So that's in minutes. Now you'd you would go up as far as you need to. 
So, okay. so if they gave you five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever the case, you go a little bit further. So if your information had gone to five minutes, then I would do an extra one at six just to make sure I've got enough space. Okay. Okay. And then the same with your centimeters cubed, whatever values they gave you. All right. So like 10, 20, 30, 40. And then you plot it like you do in maths because you've got the two coordinates. Okay. All right. So you plot it like you would in maths. And I would suspect if this was a question I was giving my kids, your graph would do that. Okay. All right. It's going to go up steep for a while and then peter off and eventually go parallel. Okay, because okay. eventually you get to the stage where no more hydrogen's being made. So it, it stays the same. Okay. Okay. And where you get your marks for this is you've got to write me a heading. So you All would right. say um, graph showing volume production of H2 versus time, something to that effect. Okay. Then you get your marks for giving me the labels, mm -hmm. units, scale. Okay. Okay. And then these marks allocated to the actual drawing of the graph. All right, you happy with that? Yes, I'm Okay. Happy. Now, what was your last question? I've got two, state two ways of increasing the rate of this reaction. Okay, two ways of increasing rates. Now, they haven't said to you, you can't do this, you can't do that. They've just said, give me two ways of increasing rate. Yes. So, let's go back to our question. The magnesium is a solid, the HCl is a solution, Okay, and okay. it was done at 25 degrees. What can I do with the solid to make it go faster? Remember, it's ribbon at the moment. What can I do with the solid to make it go faster? Uh, we have to crush it, make it uh, a powder. Excellent. So that's one way. Okay, there's lots of ways. We're going to discuss all of them, right? So the okay. first way is we can make the magnesium into a powder. Excellent. Well done. That's the first way. What's another way I can do it? Maybe increasing the concentration of the acid. Absolutely. Increasing the concentration of the acid. That's the second way. All right. So you could increase the, the concentration of the acid. Wonderful. What's the last way you could do it? Uh, using the catalyst. We could use a catalyst, though. That would be unusual with a question like this um, because it happens so well on its own. You could put in a catalyst, but I would hesitate to put that as an answer. Okay. Okay. There's something else we could do. Uh, let me see. Uh, There's one other factor that you haven't looked at. Uh, the temperature. What would I do with it? Maybe we, if we could increase it. Absolutely, if we increase the temperature. So we increase the surface area by making it a powder. We could increase the concentration of the acid. Or we could increase the temperature. Okay. okay. We can't, don't even go down the road of pressure because there's no gases involved. Okay. Okay. And the catalyst, I would only put in a catalyst at last resort with a question like this when it comes with acids. Okay. Because right. most of them happen really quickly on their own. They don't need help. All okay. Right. Okay. All right. Well done. You need to go plot that graph though. Okay. It's okay. very, very good practice. All right. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you, Mpumi. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. That was a wonderful question. And what makes this such a nice question was the plotting of the graph question. Because that quick, that whole last section didn't rely on you being able to answer the question for the, um, the balanced equation, okay? You are going to have to plot a graph, all right? Somewhere along the line, it's a very, very important skill. So you need to go and look at it and practice it. Very important. Boyle's law. Rates of reaction, equilibrium, all have graphs attached to them. Okay, really, really, really important. And being able to state how we can change the rate of reaction, also really, really important.